Hi everybody, it's Christy from Garden Nerd and today we're planting a bare root fruit tree. There are a couple things you need to know about planting bare root fruit trees and I'm going to demonstrate for you. So we actually had a tree here prior to, um, to now, but it did not have the right chill hours for our climate. What's a chill hour? A chill hour is temperatures below 45 degrees and trees, fruit trees in particular, need a certain number of chill hours in order to produce fruit. Now what we had here was a chill, was a, a nectarine tree that had 500 chill hours and we're in Southern California and we just don't get that anymore. So we took it out and I've gotten a uh, Snow Queen nectarine that only has 300 chill hours. We, I think last year got around 150, so it's, it's kind of dicey. Anyway, so those of you in northern climates, you can grow apples and pears that, you know, things that require 800 to 1,000 chill hours. In the southern climates and places that don't get a frost, stick with the low chill, anything under 300 and you're good to go. All right, so the first thing you want to do is dig a hole. Now we already had a hole here, so it's, we put most of the soil here in this pot. Um, and this area has been conditioned before, but I'm going to add a little bit of compost, not too much. We want to plant mostly in native soil, uh, but I'm using some biodynamic compost to make the place a little more hospitable and to inoculate the soil with some beneficial microbes. So. Just gonna pour that in. And now when you, you can dig, you know, dig a hole with a shovel, uh, but what happens when you use a shovel is you end up shearing the edges so you get a very smooth surface. And what can happen if you don't break up that smooth surface is called the bathtub effect, where you end up with um, water pooling inside that area where you, where you dug a hole and never permeating out toward the rest of the root system. So take a um, cultivator like this, a hand cultivator, and just rough up those edges all the way around to break it up. It's like if you've ever done any woodworking, you have to make sure you sand the pieces so they're rough before they will uh, bond together with wood glue. Same thing. All right, so now with a uh, bare root fruit tree, it comes to you in um, sawdust and no soil, that's why it's called bare root. They ship them in, just in sawdust, moist sawdust. And you can see the roots are pretty much ready to go in the ground. Now, this is the graft point way up here. I used to think that you needed to plant the tree up to the graft point. That isn't true. This is the first root flare. You are supposed to have the first root flare exposed, just the top of it. So we're gonna be planting a lot lower than you might think. So for now, I'm gonna set this aside and make a cone with my soil. Here's a cool tool. So that you, if you have a tree that you've dug a hole for that's quite wide and you can't tell where the surface of your uh, hole is, you can lay down a stick like this across the surface and then the bottom of that is gonna be about where your soil surface is. So that way you'll be able to gauge once you get your tree in place. So we'll be using that in a minute. Now, making a nice cone shape to spread my roots out over the top. After, whoops, I forgot to mix in my compost. Like this, so we've got a cone shape. And now, you want to face your graft point, which is the bulb on the, uh, where the tree comes out. You want to face that toward afternoon sun. Afternoon sun for us is that way. So now you want to spread the branches, the root, roots out over that cone. And you can see with my stick here, let's see if you can see that. I'm going up to right where the soil darkens. See there's regular tree here and then the soil darkens right around here. We're just going up to that point. It's just above that first root flare right here. 
give or take. This is, I've got these bricks here that are keeping that from happening. So it's good to have a friend who can eyeball it for you to make sure it's upright on all sides. But right now I'm going to use my stick <laughs> to hold it in place while I fill in with soil. And this is something you can do much faster with a shovel, but I'm just gently layering the soil in. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> and I don't compress the soil too much or at all. I like to water the soil to let the soil compress that way. Let nature do it for you and gravity. going to add enough soil to bring it back up to soil level. And because it's a bare root tree, that's going to be most of this existing soil. So this tree looks pretty upright from all my directions. Just need a little bit more soil. That's a worm. It's going elsewhere. The best time to plant bare root fruit trees, of course, is when uh, they're dormant, which is right now, which is uh, December, January, February, because then they will leaf out in spring and give you fruit in the first year. Most bare root fruit trees are sold as two or three year old trees. So you're pretty much guaranteed fruit the first year. My recommendation though is pull off all the fruit in the first year so that it can really focus on root development instead of fruit production. You'll have a stronger tree in the future for years to come. So now that we have our tree planted just up to that, see this root flare right here should be a little bit exposed. I'm gonna leave it covered for now but we're, that's as deep as this tree should go. So the graph point is almost a foot above it and it is facing toward the afternoon sun. So water this deeply. I like to water with kelp emulsion to give it a good soak of broad spectrum minerals. And then in spring, this tree should leaf out and start producing for us. So once we've planted the tree and re returned the soil, again, I'm not compressing this because I'm going to let water do it for me, but I'm going to put some chip bark around the tree. Now, the important thing to remember when you put mulch around your tree is that you want to avoid mulch from the trunk to about four inches away. So just spreading this out all around it to keep moisture in the soil and to help keep weeds at bay. But I'm not getting anywhere close to that tree trunk or those root flares. For more information about growing your own food and planting fruit trees and growing fruit, visit GardenNerd.com. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.